Now, the Turkish city of Izmir has had a Jewish presence since the times of antiquity. At one time, there were some 30,000 Jews making their home there. Last month, thousands of people attended the annual Sephardic Culture Festival that's been taking place every year since 2018. It included concerts of Jewish and Ladino music, traditional food tastings and lectures on the city's rich Jewish history. Well, for more on that, we can go to Istanbul. We're joined by Rabbi Mendy Chitrik, the chairman of the Alliance of Rabbis in Islamic States. Rabbi, great to see you again. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me again here on your program. Now, Izmir, uh, formerly known uh, as Smyrna when it was uh, part of Greece, uh, was once a thriving hub of Jewish life. Can you tell us a bit more about its history? Sure. First, let me correct you. It was not part of Greece. It definitely had a Greek name because of the great the Greek population. It has been part of the Ottoman Empire. It's called in Greece Smyrna. Um, definitely was a major Jewish population since antiquity, as you indicated. The major hub of Jewish life in antiquity was in nearby Sardis. It's a, a city which has had the Jewish community since uh, early antiquity, since uh, 2,700 years ago, when Jews of Jerusalem were exiled to there by the Assyrians in the 700 in the in the eighth century BCE. Uh, since then, Jews have been living in that in the Aegean coast, on the Aegean coast of what today modern day Turkey is, and the Jews have been living in uh, Smyrna and Izmir for. Uh, for many, many thousands of years, uh, over two thousand years, uh, some are mentioned also even in the in the Old Test in the in the New Testament and other places. Um, so uh, yes, when there was a, the, the influx of Jews or the prominence of the Jewish community of Smyrna of Izmir has come to light with the after the expulsion of Jews from Spain in 1492 and 1497 from Portugal, Jews have uh, come in their thousands to live in Izmir and have uh, had a great impact in Jewish life ever since. Some of our greatest rabbis, uh, halachic advisors, have lived in Izmir, lived, worked in Izmir, and have influenced Jewish life ever since. Well, let's fast forward to today, Rabbi. How has this festival been helping to revive Jewish life? What can people expect if they go there? So um, the old uh, quarter, Jewish quarter uh, surrounding the Chavra Sokak, Chavra means Chevra or uh, Congregation Sokak, con Congregation Street, is um, right in the in the mid middle of old city uh, Izmir. It's on a very on a bustling market, a shuk, whichever wherever you bazaar, where, where, whichever way you want to call it. And that street has, I think, nine or eleven synagogues. Uh, two or three are still in use on a weekly basis, and the other one have fallen to despair. Um, a very energetic fellow by the name of Nisim Ben Joya, together with the Izmir Jewish community, has uh, gathered funds from the various uh, supporters from the European Union and others, and they have uh, renovated, they fixed up those synagogues and turned it into a Jewish tour. So they are, uh, of course, with the help and support of the local authorities and Turkish government and others. So I think nine synagogues have been renovated and have been opened for uh, for Jewish uh, for Jewish tours for cultural events. And one of the highlight probably of that cultural event is the week of, uh, of uh, Sephardic festival, which takes place this year. Took place uh, during Hanukkah. So every night of Hanukkah, there was another event or several events. In these synagogues, you're showing uh, pictures of the Eitz Chaim, one of the ancient synagogues, the most important synagogues of uh, Izmir in the Middle Ages. And uh, not far from that is the very famous Portuguese synagogue, uh, the synagogue in which uh, um, Shabbatai Tzvi, the famed uh, Izmir, or maybe the most famous uh, Jew from Izmir, has declared himself to be the Messiah. And um, <laughs> of course, what that is there? very much part of... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That is very much part of of the Israel Jewish heritage. It's a it's a Jewish heritage which does have some influence, better or worse, on Jewish life today in many, many, very many, many great ways. So, um, there are Jews still living there today. How would you characterize life, Jewish life, there today? Today, Jewish life in Izmir is a little bit more subtle. There are uh, maybe a thousand or twelve hundred Jews, at various uh, estimates of Jews living in Izmir. There are two synagogues which are open uh, pretty uh, consistently. There's one synagogue which opens every day of the week and has a mikveh and a Jewish life and a Jewish butcher and a kosher store, etc. There is also um, an, a few other synagogues which are open every Saturday. And as I mentioned, the synagogue in uh, two or three of the synagogues in the Chavra Sukkak, which are open. Uh, 
also at times during the week, that is the Bikur Cholim Synagogue and the Al Ghazi Synagogue. And together with the, these uh, additional nine synagogues, which create a real beautiful Jewish tour. And if anybody wants to really connect, you know, you walk from one synagogue to it's really right next door to each other. You walk from the Neve Shalom Synagogue to the Senyora Synagogue, to the doors of the Ashkenazi Synagogue, to the Etzchai Synagogue, to the Fostero Synagogue, to Tetmutoa Synagogue, Portuguese Synagogue, Bikur Cholim Synagogue. It's a really wonderful uh, display of, of uh, you know architecture as well as holiness because it was a city which was held at high regard by mm-hmm. great rabbis who have lived there who left their mark on Jewish life and Jewish practice to this day all over the world. So Izmir, a city that was revered by so many, has really uh, opened up again to be a por- Rabbi, you know a portal of Jewish life. So it's a beautiful place. I encourage everybody to come to visit. It looks beautiful. It sounds wonderful. Rabbi Heitrich, you are a fount of knowledge. Thank you very much indeed uh, for telling us about Jewish life in Izmir. Thank you for having me here. Good evening.